eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour, expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Microgravity is a whole new research platform for science. It, you're taking away something that's so fundamental, gravity, from the equation of experiments. And we're seeing a whole lot of new things that we didn't see before. The main things that we're focused on right now are vaccines for two different bacteria. The first one that we started working on was salmonella. Um, it's based upon some research that NASA did several years back. And what they found was that in space, the bacteria grew faster and they grew stronger. So we took that basic research that NASA did and we wanted to uh, translate that into a commercial product or a vaccine for salmonella. So initially we started off with some of the work for salmonella and then transitioned into doing work on MRSA, which is a staph infection that has become very resistant to many antibiotics. And what we're doing is similar research to what we did with salmonella. We're sending MRSA to space uh, we perform um, experiments in the microgravity environment and are driving towards a vaccine that would uh, that people could take before they went into the hospital or that would prevent them from getting staph infections in general. For our experiments, they're actually very simple experiments. They're sent up in a, a little canister. Um, it uh, has a crank on the top of it. So what will happen is once on the first or second day in orbit, the astronauts turn the handle on the crank. It activates the experiment. And, and basically what it's doing is it's mixing the bacteria with a, a worm that we use that ingests the bacteria. And that worm is the animal model that we use for these experiments. You're taking away gravity from the equation, and so the organisms just grow differently. Um, it so happens that some of the ones we've looked at, they grow stronger, they grow more virulent, which means that they become more infectious. We can see what's causing the virulence to happen in the organism, what's causing it to grow more stronger, and then delete those genes and create a vaccine based on those gene deletions. Moving forward, the more often we're able to send stuff up there, the longer it's able to stay in that microgravity environment, the more we're gonna learn.